Hello everyone, we are here to introduce you to another hard taste that has come in. Um, we don't want to be too sad ever, um, but we do want to give you a realistic picture of what we do every day. We can't always talk about these cases, um, but this girl is more stable than the last skinny dog we had, um, and she's doing very well. So we wanted to give you a little talk about resources available and kind of what's going on medically. Hi guys, it's Laura again. I'm the operations manager here at Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control. And this little nugget came to us this past Friday. Um, and she's pretty emaciated, kind of like our last guy was. Um, she was really dehydrated when she came in. She was covered in fleas. So um, she needed critical care kind of straight away. Um, right now our officers are actually pursuing leads on this case um, and doing investigations. So this isn't a plea for um, tips or, or trying to find out kind of who did this. We are pursuing an active investigation. Um, but she needed kind of the same care that Skinny Guy did. So this little tiny girl here needed fluids and blood work and we're still, we're on about day five and a half. Um, and we're doing kind of slow measured feedings. Um, she is able to stand and move around. She's a little tired right now. It's the afternoon nap time. So she's just kind of hanging out with us and hanging out in my office just like the last guy did. Um, but you know, this is, we wanted to come and talk to you guys today about her um, because this is unfortunately, um, uh, this happens more with us than I think people realize. And we're just trying to be more open and share with you guys when cases do come in. Um, but we also want to do reminders about if you see something to say something. So if you have family that are struggling or friends that are struggling with their pets with resources, um, Holly's going to mention a couple resources that are out there in our community. Yeah, we have an awesome community. So um, the Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry does an amazing job. You can check them out on Facebook or they have a great website. They offer food um, and they do a great service for our community. So does Humane Fort Wayne. They also have food banks on Saturdays mm -hmm. and um, they can help with other services too. And we can help as well. So please just don't hesitate to reach out before it gets to this stage. We never, we are here for you. We can take in these animals. We never want it to have to get to this stage. Because mm -hmm. it's really hard to recover them, right? So it's hard once they've been dehydrated and emaciated, we're recovering a dog at this point versus helping a dog that could have been better off even a month ago. Um, she came in weighing about five pounds and 12 ounces. She gained a pound in us in the last five days by us um, rehydrating her and starting food. And so, you know, we can, if we know about these cases sooner or these dogs sooner, we can help before it gets to this part of it where they're actually being fully neglected um, and we're doing investigations because we don't enjoy doing these investigations. We don't want to have dogs in this in the state being turned into us. Um, but, so we're here to help before this happens and we know that it's COVID and people losing their jobs and their homes. So we're, we're trying to reach out to our community and just tell you guys to, to reach out to us so that we can actually help um, with that. Thank you so much to everyone who do donated to help to our angel fund to help care for the last little guy that came in. Um, donations help, donations for that guy help with little girls like this when they come in and just help to provide medical care above and beyond just normal needs. So we appreciate that so much um, and we couldn't do that without you guys. So she appreciates it. We appreciate all here at the shelter. We appreciate you guys. So. You know, I know it's tough, but keep on donating because it helps little tiny girls like this, um, helps us provide better care for them. Thank you.